Oh, so now I'm going to look at another thing that you can do at home in your kitchen or workshop. Um, I call it the, the worktop stretch. Um, very, very simple. You don't need any more equipment than you've already got in your house. Uh, and you're just going to use a kitchen worktop. I've gone for something that's about waist height. You might find that your kicking abilities or your flexibility will only allow you to go lower and then slowly work up to this height. So all you do, have a clear worktop. Okay, make sure you've got nothing around you too close and make sure your balance can stand this, of course, as well. And then all you do is just pick up one leg, put it on the worktop, get your ball of foot position, okay? And then keep your body weight up. Now the idea is, on this one, check your bottom foot is pointing zero to 45 degrees. And then try and get your body weight up. You don't want to be leaning back. You want to keep your body weight upright and your leg out. Now I actually find this very, very easy. And um, so I need to push myself a little bit more. So in true Blue Peter fashion, okay, one I've prepared earlier, I've got a yellow pages. You might not be able to get these anymore, but a thick book or something to put on top of the worktop there will give you that extra little bit more height. Okay, so now when you put your foot up, and here we go, that's better. So from here now, I'm actually trying to lean my body weight forward to my leg. I could stack it up higher and higher and higher, but it's going to be getting dangerous there. Okay, and then it also means I'm leaning back more. So I'd be better off here, this way. And of course, you might have already guessed the next move. From here, all you need to do then is turn it through by turning your bottom foot. Remember, now your bottom foot, this is as important as the stretching leg, will be pointing in the opposite direction. Get your foot sword, and again now, bringing your body weight up. So you're trying to bring your body weight up this way. Get your guard up. Look to where you're kicking. Get your foot position right. Keep adjusting if you need to, and keep your balance. So two kicks done there, snap kick and side kick. Of course, the side kick incorporates your turn and kick and your hook and kick positions as well. So this is fine, just the two. And then from here, bring it back up again. Remove your leg, and then of course, go on to the left leg. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.